Hey there, I'm Toon Peters from Belgium and today I would like to show you how to perform a virtual assembly using the Atos Q. Often an object doesn't come alone, but instead it is part of a bigger assembly. In assemblies it's very important to know how each individual part is exactly oriented towards its counterparts. In this case, we have an assembly of different sand cores that need to be positioned exactly in a certain way to produce a correct part in the end. In this case, an engine block. When the resulting part shows material thickness errors, it makes a lot of sense to analyze the used sand cores. Of course, once we have made the assembly, we cannot scan inside. But luckily, the software offers the possibility to perform a virtual assembly. So, how does it work? Here again, we use the reference points to our advantage. First, we scan each individual part separately. And in the end, we build every part together in the common assembly. We take one more scan, so the software knows exactly the relative position of each individual part. This way, we can analyze the internal surface distances, which will make up the material thickness of the resulting part. So, let's get started. I will scan the first part first. By scanning the part from different angles, I'm sure that I have a complete scan of the part. As I want a full scan of each individual part, I will rotate it around as well. So now that I've finished scanning every individual part, we can start building the assembly together. Okay, so now that we put all the separate parts together in the final assembly, let me take one more scan for the software to know the exact position of each individual part. Alright, now we have done every step of the process, so let's have a look what the software has to offer. As you see on the screen, we have the exact same as what we have in reality. Here, you see that we can also fly through the part and see all individual parts separately. So now we can see if there's a core shift, which would result in a material thickness problem of the end part. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more how-tos, getting started, product updates or any other question regarding 3D scanning, please visit handsonmetrology.com. You will find the link in the information section of this video. Thanks for watching.